Hi, my name is Brandon Gray, and I'm the Product Support Engineer for System Link. And today we're going to be going over how to create packages using LabVIEW Package Builder, as well as how to upload those packages to a feed that you've created and are hosting on your System Link web server. And so to begin, to make sure that we can use LabVIEW Package Builder, we need to ensure that both LabVIEW is installed as well as Package Builder is installed. And so to do that, we're going to open up Anti Package Manager. And it's important to note that before installing Package Builder, we're going to need to have LabVIEW installed because if you don't have LabVIEW installed, it will not install support for your version of LabVIEW. So I have LabVIEW 2017 installed. And now I'm going to go and ensure that Package Builder is installed. And so um, as we can see, LabVIEW Package Builder is already installed. If it wasn't already installed, you would go ahead and um, install it, um, but now that we know that it's installed, I'll go ahead and open up a LabVIEW project that I've created for this demo. And this LabVIEW project is pretty simple. It just contains a VI, an executable that has an LED that flashes every second on the front panel. And what I want to do is create a package out of that executable to host on a feed on my system link web server. And so um, once LabVIEW Package Builder is installed, you'll actually have the options to build a package from the LabVIEW project. So here, when we right click, we can see new package is an option that we have. So we're gonna go ahead and proceed doing that. So here we have some basic information. I'm gonna leave it at the default for most things here. Um, for source files, I'm going to go ahead and include the executable that I've created for this VI or this project and include that. And besides that, we can change a couple of things. So display name, we can change it to test package. Um, throw in a little description. And once I have gone through and ensured that all of my fields are filled in with the correct information, I'll go ahead and hit build. So here we see that the build was complete. We can actually explore and um, we can actually double click on the, pro the package and it will open up an anti package manager for installation. And so here it just shows that this is a valid package. I'm not going to go ahead and I'm not going to proceed with the installation. Um, but the next step that we want to do is to upload that package to a feed that we've created on our system link web server. And so let's go ahead and open up our system link web server in the system link web app. And once we have our system link web application up and running, we're actually gonna to want to go to the repository manager. This is the application that you'll use to manage all of your feeds, create feeds, have packages to feeds and whatnot. And so, we're going to go ahead and start out by creating a feed. So we'll name our feed test feed. So here we see I have created a feed. And if I want to add packages or alter anything with the feed, I'll just double click on the feed and it will load that information. So here we see a little bit of information about our feed. So the name of the feed, the description, as well as the feed URL that you can use to explicitly add this feed to other machines. And so within NI Package Manager, you can actually add in a URL and it will give you the ability to download items from that feed. And so this is the URL that you would use for that. Um, but since we're using System Link, we're going to actually use our feed to push software to targets. And so first, let's go ahead and add a package to our feed. And so we'll go down here to our packages section where it will display all the packages inside of our feed. And we'll want to add. And so um, for this area, we have four different options. We can upload packages. And so if we have packages on our local machine we want to add, we'll use that option. The import packages from remote feeds will actually download all packages from a feed URL that you give it. Um, the package, import packages from local feeds, it's the same thing except for if the feed is local to your machine, um, it will import any of the packages from the feed on your machine. Um, and lastly, you have the ability to add packages from a pool. 
So we're going to choose to just upload packages since we know it's locally. Our package is found locally on our machine. We'll browse to our package that we've just built, which is this one right here. I'll go ahead and hit open and it will upload the package to my feed. So here it is done. We can go ahead and hit close. And what we'll see is that the package is now included in our feed. And so in a later video, we're going to go over how to use this feed to push software or items to targets. I hope this video was helpful in creating feeds and packages for use with SystemLink. Other than that, that is it. Thank you and have a good day.